amazing scenes. Are you getting as much joy out of this year's run as your two boys are? Um, it's become a thing, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah, you know, and, and it's, uh, I'm, I'm happy to run with that. It's a little bit more public than we've been before as yep. a family. I suppose not overanalyzing that part of it, it has been important for me at, you know, as a person it, with everything that I'm doing. The short answer is probably um, they'd be enjoying it far more. <laughs> There's no doubt that they're uh, getting a lot out of it and they, um, they're passionate about seeing their dad involved with something and seeing it successful as, as every young bloke is, but I'm loving that they're loving it. What is nice is they're at an age where they can appreciate it mm. and can run into your arms after a big win and yeah, come correct. out onto the ground. Yeah, and it's, yeah, look, I, I love that aspect of it, to be able to share it with them and with family. And I think that's something that um, we'd all love to do. You know, not, you're not always going to be able to bring your loved ones into to your own, to your passion. Sometimes that your job precludes that capacity, but um, I'm very fortunate that, that this job and, and this industry allows your family to be to be as as close as they'd like to be really yeah. because it is it is a very people based business it's a very um, relationship based business so to be able to share it with my family and to see other people in our organization share it with their families and bring them into the mix has been um, a very rich part of our last couple of years Mutual mate of yours and mine said, the person we know and love is the one the public are now falling in love with. He's smiling more, having fun with the media. Everything's loose and more enjoyable. When and how did the change come with you? Yeah, well, look, I think um, probably from getting to a point partway through last year where I decided that I didn't really care as much as I did about the public side of it. Yeah, and becoming more authentic and becoming more real was an important part, even internally, of, of um, me enjoying myself more. And it's been a gradual um, evolution for me. I'm not talking about the last two or three years. I, I think I'm always trying to improve myself or trying to contribute uh, in a more meaningful way to the people that you're involved in and with. There's a lot of focus on it. And the time for reflection comes. Yep. Um, we've still got a job to do on the weekend, but um, probably been able to smell the roses a little more and even being, you know, being prepared to be a bit more expensive in the midst of it is is more real anyway, because what are we waiting for? Well, like just yeah. say what's on your mind, um, speak from the heart and see where it goes. So I, I'm more comfortable with myself, less concerned about what the way people might perceive it or view it. Um, and that's liberating. So if a player was on the list in 2012 and 2018, would they see a very different coach? Yep. yep. Clearly. I sense you've never been more connected to the players, but I sort of sense you've never been more connected to everyone in your life at the moment. Mm. Yeah, fair? yeah, it is. And probably more to myself, yep. to be honest. Yep. I and mean, we can get really deep here, mate. Well, the reality is when you stop living or you, or you live your life less how you, how, how you think others expect you to live it. Yep. Um, then you give yourself a licence to be more of yourself. And, and I think when you do that, you actually find out a little bit more about what makes you tick, about what you love, about what you hate. You know, you, that allows you to actually feel real or genuinely. And if my evolution has led me to that, and it allows me, as a, as a mate or a mentor as much as a senior coach to assist others to, to maybe get there five years, 10 years, 15 years earlier, well then I think that's my duty. So I have enjoyed that part. Yeah.